just working on tomorrow's video. It's going to be a good one. It's about five ways to stay on track during the holidays. About 10.30 right now. So I'm going to try and get this done before I head off to the gym. I'm really procrastinating it today because it's minus 24, I think, again. And I'm getting sick of all this cold weather and I don't want to go outside. But, but, it is supposed to be, I think, like, zero degrees by the weekend, and it's Tuesday. So we gotta hold out just, 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 just a little bit longer. You have no idea how excited I am. Coming climatized. Oh, come on, Minnie. Let that let that baby warm up for 15, 20 minutes. Hey buddy. my compound movement today Ooh, it's flat bench and then I have a little bit of lower body some BFR training and yeah full body day let's get it open eye through the waves cut through me hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in hold tight Oh, 
just finished up my workout. Pretty good workout today. It was a little bit of a chillaxed workout. The only difficult part was my compound movement, which was flat bench today. I did uh, two working sets of four at 80%, uh, which is 95 pounds. And man, did this go up really, really smooth. When I did 95 pounds on Friday, it felt very difficult, but today it was like night and day difference, completely easier today. So it just goes to show you that strength isn't linear. Some days you are gonna have weaker days than other, and this is just due to stress, your food, your sleep, everything like that. So obviously I had a good sleep, obviously I had a night, just the right amount of energy, to make that a super easy lift. Yeah, and then I did I did like a little mini band circuit with an actual um, longer band. So as you can see, I kind of straddle the band with uh, dumbbells and then go underneath and do hip thrusts. So it was a working set of 20 hip thrusts with the mini band around your knees and then 30 seated hip abductions with the mini band and then another 20 hip thrusts. So that was a killer glute burnout and it took maybe about 15 minutes to do three sets of that. So if you're a little bit strapped for time and you really want a good burn, I definitely recommend that. And then I did a little bit of posing after. I am really excited to compete again and I'm really trying to make sure that my posing is on point for provincials. I had a lot of really good feedback for my posing from last year, which I really appreciate. But even like when I look back on my footage, I cringe a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, ah, what am I doing? That looks so bad. But that's just me like not being hard on myself, but just trying to beat myself. I had an Instagram post about this today where I just want to beat myself and do better than I did last year. So posing has got to improve if I'm going to accomplish that goal. So. I have been working with some quarter turns, so it's not just front, back, front anymore. You have to implement quarter turns now for bikini. So I'm trying to get used to that and just kind of playing with some transitions to see how it looks and just kind of playing with it right now. It's very difficult to really come up with your routine when you aren't lean. And uh, as you can see, I am uh, definitely not lean or stage ready at all, which I'm totally comfortable with. I still have to say though, I hate those goddamn shoes. Fuck, <laughs> I do not do well in them. I don't know why, my, my feet slip forward because the balls of the heels have swayed in them and my feet just can't, or stay in place in them. So my feet are always slipping forward when I wear them. So if anybody has any tips, I would greatly appreciate it. Besides gluing my feet, I did that at my last show. And let's just say I left my shoes there because they were disgusting afterwards. But it did do the trick. Temporary. <laughs> Not for practicing though. So a little post-workout meal. I am having 50 grams of cinnamon toast crunch with some cashew milk. And this is 9 grams of fat, 43 carbs, and 4 protein. So we just got back from Superstore. Kyle got some mini naan bread. He's gonna have some mini pizzas. Got some fruit because of health. Chips Ahoy cookies, Kyle's favorite. I got some egg whites. Still eating these on the daily to help me hit my protein. Fat free craft singles for my grilled cheese. And oh look, more cookies, Hoot. Peanut butter again. I told you guys Kyle was the cookie monster, right? What are you doing? <laughs> you dancing for the tube? You, careful, bro. Careful, bro.
want your tree on. Is that better? <laughs> you look so pretty. Huh? Is that all you wanted? So I'm making this guy right here, this guy, some mini pizza on mini nan bread. Kyle, what are the macros on your pizza? In case people want to try the recipe, because they're pretty macro friendly. 60 protein, 67 carb, and 22 fat. And that's only because I used a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. All right, guys, before we wrap up the video, I just wanted to quickly take some time to say thank you to everyone who gives me a bunch of support on YouTube and on Instagram. And I just want to say that we are almost at 10,000 followers on Instagram. I know I just did a, did a giveaway for 5,000 followers, but I think that we can get to 10,000 followers by the end of this year. So if we do, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway similar to what I already did for the 5,000 follower giveaway. So we're going to do the same thing for 10,000 followers if, if we get to it by the end of the year. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I'm going to link it right there and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Tell your friends and family to follow me on Instagram for some daily motivation, nutrition, and training tips and tricks and you guys have a chance to be a part of my giveaway thank you. So thank you guys so much for all your continuous support. And that is gonna conclude today's Vlogmas episode. Appreciate you guys so much, love you all so much. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.